All right. Joining us now to discuss the Rashida Tlaib problem is attorney uh, Julian Epstein. Uh, Julian, a former chief counsel for Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee, and he served while Bill Clinton was being impeached, by the way. Uh, welcome, Julian. Uh, so, so tell me a little bit about what you make of Rashida Tlaib, because the Democrats have a not just a Rashida Tlaib problem. They have a, a bit of a Hamas sympathizing problem. Uh, th- Biden's got to figure this out with his caucus. Yes, and they have a both sides ism problem. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I if I were in Congress, I would have voted to censure her. Um, and I think the easiest way to understand this is if you remember Dylan Roof, the white ethno-nationalist that went into a South Carolina church in 2015, killed uh, nine African-Americans. Um, if you could imagine that on the Republican side, there were people that said uh, both sides is in, in that case, that um, that uh, white nationalists had some argument because their demographic was somehow shrinking. Um, If you can imagine people making that argument, uh, everyone would be horrified, mortified to hear that kind of both isms in that kind of incidents, incidents. Um, That is exactly what is happening here. Uh, There is no difference between what Hamas did and what Dylan Roof did and what uh, ISIS is and what Hitler was and what Al Qaeda is. Uh, These are vile fascist ethno-nationalists that if you substituted any group other than Israeli Jews, um, any group, uh, they would be uh, denounced in the strongest terms by the American left. But there is a mental disorder that I think that has taken over the American left um, today, which is this idea that if you somehow align yourself with an oppressed group, as the Palestinians have attempted to do in the United States, um, then your side has no accountability and you can advocate uh, or explain away some of the most vile hatred uh, fascist actions as Hamas's actions on October 7th was. Um, yeah. uh, Tlaib has uttered the, the statement from the river to the sea uh, multiple times, and we know exactly what that means. It means the expungement of Jews from Israel. Um, there's no question. It means a, a Palestinian state from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. So there is there is no sort of, you know, there is no other sides here in terms of what happened on October 7th. There is no, you know, sure. explaining it away. But the Democrats have attempted to do this. Yeah. I, I mean, and you could just sort of, you know, you will hear people say, well, what about the Palestinian statehood? What about what about the what about? Uh, the occupied territories. Well, you know, this is a time for moral clarity. Um, The Palestinians have been offered peace on five different occasions, and they have said no to it every single time. In 2000, they were offered at the end of the Clinton administration, they were offered peace. um, And and Yasser Arafat never said yes or no, but he walked away from the deal. In 2008, uh, the Palestinians were offered peace. Um, uh, They also walked away from the deal. Um, every single time they have been offered a two-state solution, they have right. said no. Yeah. Um, is, Israel is not a colonial power. Israel is a sovereign state that was set up by in, international law. It has ancestral claims that go back 3,000 years. Um, uh, you know, a sort of a very easy way to understand this issue. People ask me, you know, it's a complicated issue. It's a complicated issue. It's really not. A very interesting, easy way to understand this issue is if the Palestinians laid down their arms today, there would be peace tomorrow. Yeah. There if you Israel go. laid down its arms yeah. today, all of them would be slaughtered. Julian, uh, my question for you, you know, we have a big event here. Brandon Straka does does the walk away movement. I don't know how familiar you are, um, but we have a big event here tonight um, celebrating that. Um, And and I'm just curious because I don't know. I'm curious for you. I always want to know the psychological factor. Tribalism is such a real thing. And it really does cause people to be unable to see beyond their identity with whatever oppressed group and consider themselves a part of it in some way, shape, or form, even if it's a white, upper-class liberal, right, uh, you know, who thinks all of a sudden they're BLM. It doesn't matter. It's hard for them to get out of that headspace. But you did. 
enough to stand. You walked away really from all the indoctrination, all the tribalism, all the, because there was a moment, right, where you went, something's not fitting together in my brain. What was that moment? Mm -hmm. Um, I think I've seen the gradual movement of the Democratic Party towards the extreme left for a decade. Um, and it's a it's an excellent question. It's a very, very good question because I um, while I'm a registered Democrat, I feel like a a a you know, to quote the old book, man without a country, I feel like a man without a party yeah. uh, because the the party has just moved so far left. And the idea that there are that the party has not denounced and distanced itself, not just from Rashida Tlaib, but from all of the other academics and other voices on the left, there are people that have actually celebrated. I mean, Black Lives Matter in Chicago celebrated the October 7th attack by posting the paragliders, the hand gliders, um, on, uh, on, uh, on their Twitter posts, on their yeah. X posts. Um, there are lots of voices on the left that have gone even further than Tlaib. And the left should be the first people out there denouncing it the way they would be if somebody tried to defend the Dylan Roof murder, yes. the, the the Dylan Roof attacks on on on, on the nine African American uh, African Americans in South Carolina. So uh, we have seen this extreme movement to the left, which again, the, the sort of the the the, the world view is that if you are, or if you identify, or if you can align with an what they call an oppressed group, then. Your argument is right. The other argument is wrong. You have no accountability. You don't have to use logic or facts on your side. And um, sort of all you have to do is call the other person a racist. And that's yeah, the yeah. substitute for an argument. Well, and it's a perversion. Mm -hmm. I think it's a mental disorder. And um, it has swept too far into the cultural left, into academia, mm -hmm. into Hollywood, um, uh, and, and even into some of our corporate um, uh, in, in our corporate life, which I, I'm sure you're, you're well aware of. Yeah. Um, so you, it's a good question. It was a gradual process for me. I think the, you know, the summer protests in 2020, while the George Floyd murder was atrocious and should be denounced by everyone, the notion that um, the response to it, um, you know, not a single piece of legislation, meaningful legislation was ever passed as a result. Um, the defund the police movement was catastrophic catastrophically stupid. Um, and we've seen the bad results from that. And we've sort of seen since that time, as bad as that incident was, an acceleration of this idea that has really become so prominent in the debate over the Israel response, that if you can just say, as the Palestinians have attempted to do, that they align with one of the oppressed groups in the left, in the West, that they can somehow lessen their accountability for what happened. I don't see Rashida Tlaib denouncing, maybe I'm wrong about this, I don't see her denouncing the Iranians mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. um, what they have done to kill young women who don't want to wear a hijab. I don't see Rashida Tlaib denouncing the Chinese for a million Muslims who are in Chinese concentration camps um, you know, if there is an occupier, if there is a colonial power in Gaza right now, it is Iran. Iran is funding Hamas, which is its agency, it, its, its agent, effectively, its surrogate. And I don't hear anyone on the left in any meaningful way denouncing what is the real colonial yeah. power on the West Bank, which is which is Iran. The hypocrisy Julie, I think that has we've started to see on the left is just got, is it's absurd.